Hey everyone, David here from The Five and Dime, and this is the making of Tina. This is the inspiration for this sad old guitar. This guitar was given to me by my Uncle Pete, and it is unfortunately not playable. It's got cracks, etc. So we're going to turn it into artwork instead of putting it in the trash. So first off, first, give it a good clean with white lightning, then two coats of Slick Stick, and Slick Stick is the adhesion primer. Next, I gave it two coats of white cap from the Silk All-in-One Mineral Paint Line by Dixie Bell Paint Company, and then I sketched out my design on the guitar. And again, the inspiration is the movie poster from What's Love Got To Do With It by Tina Turner. And so after I had that all sketched out, I knew I had a bit of a plan. I'm going to use some Would You Bend. And I'm using the TR708, which is the small petite braid. And I'm using that to actually create a 3D design effect. So I heated it up. And then I had to lay it down following the pattern I'd already drawn on top of the guitar. After that was done, I painted the trim out in anchor by, from the Silk Mineral Paint line as well. And then started applying it by heating it up, adding glue, pressing it in place, heating it up, pressing it in place again, then wipe away any excess glue. I love how the trim really gave it that whole 3D effect. And it really was super simple to use. Cut, paint, apply. Perfect. Now I'm using the Posh Chalk Metallus Pace in order to create a faux metal look. And I'm using a variety of different colors and so many I forgot which ones I was actually using. But I know there was gold, there was brown, there was black, there was green. And this gave a really mottled metal look. Very rusty chic. And it worked out really beautifully. I enlisted the help of my friend Candy in order to create a uh, stencil of the wording for the What's Love Got To Do With It movie poster. And she came through, of course. And so I'm just having that in place. I This was a little finicky for me. I had a few issues, but overall, very happy with it. It wasn't the stencil. It was definitely me. Now I'm using the Hollywood and Vine stencil by Posh Chalk Interiors and I am adding on some silver gilding wax. And this is again just going to add to that lovely vintage type of vibe that I'm going for with this guitar. I think Tina turned out absolutely beautiful. I'm a huge Tina Turner fan and when she passed I knew I had to do something and this is my tribute to Tina Turner. So I hope you enjoyed as much as I did. And thank you for following along. All right. Ciao for now, everyone.